Hello and welcome to another lazy video. Take a look at this bookshelf with all the nice colorful books. Do you notice something else other than books? Indeed, it's the Iowa XR MS3. Micro sets didn't get any smaller than this, I think. It has a CD player, a cassette deck, a tuner, and the all-important line-in for your Bluetooth receiver. This set is from the late 90s and Bluetooth didn't exist yet. It has a nice big volume control which also functions as multi-jock. The light surrounding it can have three different colors. Orange, blue, or purple, which is a combination of the orange and blue. Or you can turn the illumination off. After a power outage, it flickers and blinks vividly to grab the attention of potential buyers in the hi-fi stores. Once you set the clock, that goes away. And you can even choose to completely turn off the display when the device is off, which saves the VFD display's lifespan, which is nice. Let's film it in the dark to check if it actually turns off. Yes, the glowing strings stop glowing. As you can expect from a small set like this, it doesn't sound very great, which may also have to do a little bit with the speakers that are deformed. Maybe it was played too loud or maybe it's just degrading from age. Let's try and do a demonstration of the cassette deck and the CD player. When I filmed this, I placed the CD with the print on the inside, which is wrong. Unfortunately, flipping it around didn't make much of a difference. Anyway, it's a CD player. Your, oh, I thought it did something. You get the gist. A CD player plays CDs. That's what happens. Except when it doesn't. Except when it's broken. Yes, moving on to the cassette deck, which has a really nice loading mechanism. And as you can see, the set is so small that they made a special 90 degrees rotated loading mechanism for it. And when you open it, it looks like it's motorized, but it's not. You basically wind up the unloading mechanism when loading a cassette. Very cool design. And there you see the problem with the cassette deck. It eats the tape. So that's not working too. As usual, I decided not to try and repair it, especially when I saw how tightly packed the inside was. They really pushed it to the limit here. Doesn't matter, we've got a Bluetooth receiver that we can connect. The remote has a very cool design. I guess they thought, well, the stereo set is small, let's make the remote wide. And it has a dust cap, keeping the buttons nice and clean. Well, the dust cap fell off, but you get the idea. There's really only one thing about this micro set that I don't like. It's the active fan that turns on when the stereo set turns on. And it's quite noisy. A fan in an audio device? That's just a big fail. 
Apart from that, it's a lovely little, almost invisible stereo set to hide in the bookshelves. Another video on my lazy channel instead of my main channel. I want to create quality content for that channel, not lazy stuff like this. The only problem is that because of that I haven't uploaded there for quite some time now. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.